Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Gary the Grasshopper, aka The Mangle. So we'll look into this character's backstory, their location, their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that everything I say in these videos isn't really linked to the overall lore and universe of FNAF. This is just a creepy cool what if scenario and a fun story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Gary the Grasshopper, aka The Mangle. So far in our current FNAF character concept series, we've been introduced to the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. This pizzeria is home to a whole cast of dangerous animatronics, all with their own backstories and reasons for attacking the Night Guard. But one of the most intriguing stories we've covered is that of Melvin Mantis. Melvin was the praying mantis character of the pizzeria and had many similar traits to that of the original Foxy. Throughout their character concept story, they were obsessed with whatever was behind a specific wall. For days on end, Melvin would spend their time chipping away at this wall. But unfortunately, in that video, we never found out what exactly was calling out to them from behind the wall. Until now. So now we come up to the sixth night at the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. And with that, a sixth character would appear. A character that no one has seen in quite a long time. And this character was Gary the Grasshopper. Gary was an old animatronic and is currently out of commission. A while ago, before Melvin Mantis was introduced to the pizzeria, they had Gary. But after an unfortunate event, they were soon replaced with Melvin. No one knows at the pizzeria what happened to the original Gary animatronic. One day they were here, and the next they weren't. The only one who truly knows what happened to Gary was the manager of the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. So hence the name, Gary was modelled after the Green Grasshopper. They were given the standard bug antenna and spiked arms. Their body type was quite similar to that of Alex the Ant. Some of the workers believe they must have used similar parts. A noticeable difference with Gary was their bug-like mandibles. They were one of the few characters that actually had them. So Gary's role at the Insect Kingdom was that of the server. They would be able to walk around and serve the guests their food. Whilst the other characters typically stayed up on stage, Gary was the only one that would walk around and serve the food to the guests. So as far as the pizza reader was concerned, Gary was quite the successful character. They did their job, and all the guests enjoyed their friendly service at the tables. The only concerning thing was their strange obsession with body modification. So from time to time, when all the animatronics would roam around at night, Gary would always manage to sneak into the repair room and rummage through the spare parts. They never spent any time with the other animatronic characters. They much preferred the company of the spare endoskeleton characters. They were always interested in their strange bare metal design. So whilst rummaging through the spare parts, they came across a strange endoskull. For some strange reason, they had quite the obsession with this skull. It was almost like it was alive, like it was talking to Gary. The skull managed to convince Gary to let it be a part of their body. With extra body parts from the other endos, they could be something far greater. Gary let the skull get through to them and embarked on trying to attach it to their body. There were many attempts, but the majority of them had failed. They used duct tape and many other methods, but nothing stuck. With many failed attempts, the skull was growing impatient. It wanted a body, and it wanted it now. Whilst holding the skull, its eyes began to light up. In turn, this made the other spare Endo's eyes light up as well. It was almost like the skull was taking control of them. But how could that be possible? One of the Endo's removed their arm and walked towards Gary. The other had a toolkit in their hand and walked over as well. That night, they got to work and made Barry and the Endo skull one. 
When the morning came, the manager came across the abomination that was Gary. Their body was a twisted mess of wires and metal. How could this have happened? Gary's body was far beyond repair. The manager was afraid they'd never get them back to their original state again. Fazbear Entertainment could not find out about what happened here today. If they found out what happened to one of their star attractions, then the manager would be fired for sure. So they decided to do the only logical thing that they could think of. So at the time, the Magic Garden was just being built. This was actually good timing. Fazbear Entertainment was sending over a new character to occupy the Magic Garden. And it was up to the manager to choose which character to sub out and send back to Fazbear HQ. And it looks like Gary made that decision for them. But there's no way they could send this abomination back to Fazbear Entertainment. So the manager decided to hide this mangled mess of metal and wires where no one could ever find them. And then the body they would send back would be a regular endo, with Gary's old material skin attached. So the perfect hiding place for this mangled mess would be inside the Magic Garden. The manager powered them down and placed the mangled Gary inside an open wall. They then had the contractors build the wall over this twisted shutdown body. So as far as the manager was concerned, this would be the last time they'd ever see that twisted mess of a character. They figured when they renovate or sell the pizzeria, they'd be long gone. But little did they know, the mangled Gary would be coming back once more. So as the years went by, the mangled model of Gary would rest behind the wall. Until one day, the Endo Skull came to life once more. It was this twisted skull that possessed Melvin to slowly free them from behind the wall. Now that the wall was weak enough from Melvin's digging, it was time for them to emerge once more. In the middle of the night, the wall crumbles away, and out steps the twisted mangled mess. They should be powered down, but for some strange reason, after all this time, they could still move around. The mangled Gary wanted revenge on the one who buried them in the wall. But in this angered state, they didn't care who they took their anger out on. And it just so happens the only person here at this hour was the poor night guard. So now let's get into the gameplay segment of the video. As we all know, the gameplay mechanics in these videos are modelled after the classic FNAF formula of observation and management. The player is now up to the sixth night, and they have to face the fearsome secret character, the Gary Mangle. So on the last night, the player now has to deal with all of the characters at once. So not only do they have to look out for the original characters, but they also need to look out for Gary as well. So the way that Gary would try to enter through the office would be through the vents. Their twisted body would bend and contort and fit inside. They would then sliver through the vents and try to attack the player. Just like the other characters, they would need to press the emergency extinguisher before they could get through the vent. Aside from the vents, they could also be able to climb on the ceiling and try to enter through the right hand door. The player would need to shut the door as soon as they see them climbing on the ceiling. On the rare occasion, the mysterious Endo Skull would have the ability to control multiple characters at once. When the player sees their eyes glow red, this means that they're about to make the majority of the characters appear at once. The only characters that wouldn't be affected by this would be Melvin and the Spider Puppet. So each door and the one vent would be occupied at the same time. Each of the characters would have glowing red eyes just like the Endo Skull. The player needs to shut each door and extinguish the vent. This only left one vent free and this is where Gary would strike from. If the player gets too caught up with dealing with all the other characters and forgets about the mangle, they would be greeted with a classic FNAF jump scare. <laughs> So I think the mangle version of Gary Grasshopper would be an awesome last addition to the Insect Kingdom Pizzeria. 
Their disturbing, mangled appearance would surely freak out the player. And their gameplay mechanics would definitely make them a difficult character to face off against, that's for sure. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Also in the comment section down below, let us know what you thought of Gary the Grasshopper, aka the Mangle, and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well, until the next video, we'll catch you later, bye.